This is our fridge. Bosch Electronic Frost Free. When the fridge defrosting through the drain hole, all the ice will be melted and uh, flow through the drain hole. And uh, the problem with this fridge is that it's uh, getting frozen and block the drain hole. Last time it happened is January, and this year January again, uh, the drain hole was blocked. I have switched off the fridge for two days, uh, and seems now all mounted. Uh, let's have a look of the fridge. So, and the door opened. You see we have the temperature setting here, and you can press that button to set the temperature. We always use negative 16, but even negative 16 in the freezer, you can have like uh, minus 21. Uh, there are some other buttons we never use. We just use the default. After you switch it on, it's going to be automatically negative 16. And here, there's a knob. We can adjust the fridge temperature. We normally put it in the middle three. If you look at the freezer, I have taken off all the shelves and the, the trays. Here are the vaporizer. Here are the cooling parts. And it's just on the top. And below this is this plate. This is a heater plate. It's just under here. And you can see there is the drain hole. Just below there, if you can see, by the drain hole, and this gets blocked, and the, the water will flow into the freezer, and sometimes it will make this fan frozen, and the fan uh, couldn't rotate, and then totally your freezer will get warm if the fan uh, stuck with ice. And the water actually getting under from here. So this is a uh, uh, just about the drain hole. Uh, let's turn over this uh, plate. You can see there's the connection, there's the heater connection. So this is the heater element. I think uh, something like uh, stainless or aluminum uh, plate. Uh, you can see the the heater runs over the drain hole. So even there is the heater around the drain hole, the drain hole still getting. Uh, frozen and block the water flow so in the installed position it is something uh, this this will get into over the drain hole and this will just under this evaporator and if there's any ice there's any frost here the heater will heat them up and the water will melt over this plate and flowing down to the drain hole. Under the heater plate is this tray. This is a plastic and with some like uh, insulation foam, uh, just a, a layer over here. So this is a, a bottom side. You can see the drain hole here, a little bit like that. So the drain hole just to get into the drain hole place. And uh, here we got a two screw and uh, just uh, for the fixing. And then we got a track over here. There's the one lug here and there's the, another lug here. They just uh, get into uh, the track over here and over here, just uh, uh, below below this uh, heating board. And they're going to get over there. Uh, if we turn this over, you can see the inside is like this. So that's the uh, the air we we'll get. Uh, I think we we'll get in from there. And uh, this is a drain hole. You can see on the top it looks smaller. So the heater plate will be over here, and the water flow down here, and then down to the drain hole. What I did last year is that uh, the drain hole it used to be connected. You see, this connected, and here is a down. It's just a flat. There's a hole there. There's the two opening each side of the drain hole. 
I just uh, cut them through and make this side up, this side a little bit down. That's what I did last year. Obviously, it didn't work. So this year, I will do something different uh, to say if uh, it can improve the situation. So now you can see I have bent these two sides downward into the drain hole on the plastic tray over here. So we can have a, another look uh, when I remove it from the plastic tray. So now you can see I, I have just the bend to the shape of the drain hole on the plastic tray. This is something like this. So that the drain hole here. So you can see here when the heater plate fits into the hole, you can see the metal here, just the down this hole when it's uh, in the installed position. It's just a drain. So the plate, this side, this side, just the down to the drain hole. I think uh, this will make the flow better and uh, less likely to be frozen to block this uh, drain hole. Another thing I want to do this year is that I'm going to add uh, a, a wire. This is a copper wire. So I'm going to take this wire out and add to the, to the heater and make this wire into the drain hole. Hope it will help uh, uh, this drain hole blocked by ice. Now I have got this uh, wire out of this uh, cable. So next, I'm going to attach this to the heater plate. Now I have a bend the wire, something like this. So you just uh, uh, into this hole, something like that. So I'm going to use a thin wire to just uh, tie this uh, copper wire to the heater element. The three centimeters into the hole. I use some uh, telephone wire you can see this is a mono wire it's uh, also copper and you can see I have attached say just a thin wire here thin wire there you can see so several points I just attach this uh, copper wire to this heater element hopefully it will help uh, to prevent uh, this uh, drain hole to be blocked by the ice. To install, we have to put this uh, heater plate uh, in this uh, roughly the position, and then we get this uh, plastic tray under the heater element. Now you can see I have got this uh, plastic tray half in. You can see here. So when the heater and the tree at the proper position, this edge is nearly aligned with the front edge of the tree. So this is the correct position. So you can also see that the drain hole, and you can see my wire, the wire attached to the heater element. So it's like this. I think uh, uh, it will be no problem to install it uh, over the drain hole because it's not uh, uh, protrude for too long. It's just a little bit over than that plastic uh, drain outlet. Now it's uh, fully in position. I have uh, pushed it to the bottom. Uh, the last thing to do is that the two screw hole here. So we have the two stainless screw and we just uh, put them there. And uh, this is uh, all the improvement uh, for this year. Uh, firstly, I just bend that the drain hole uh, heater plates a little bit down into the hole. And secondly, I add a copper wire attached to the heater and also a little bit uh, get into the drain hole. Hope this will uh, improve.